are gathering in the largest demonstrations against President Hosni Mubarak. Hearing about the human rights issues at an event like this, especially a film festival, um, is a little bit rugged. When I see these films, I'm shocked and amazed, and I'm moved to want to reach out and do something, because I don't want my world to be this way. There's over a thousand people a day that actually are deported. Well, there's nothing to fear if you are obeying the law. Do they make you prove your citizenship status? Mm -hmm. You're Native American, right? Yeah. Everyone who looks brown, it's being stuck. We have to support your children in the schools. The prisons are overcrowded with illegals. The health care system is in the dumper because of illegal immigrants. These are your neighbors. These are people who are working in every aspect of life. 30 other states around the country have tried to adopt or have adopted similar or tougher legislation. It's in their backyard. It isn't just our problem. When we opened the Worker Rights Center in August of 2008, we initially were doing labor rights education because a lot of people uh, were misinformed about what their rights were. So there was an accumulation of these laws and dehumanizing policies uh, that the center exists within. Uno ya no se siente libre de andar por las calles, que me bajó mucho, por ejemplo, la venta, porque los clientes no quieren comprar como antes. Cuando nosotros llegamos, pues llegamos prácticamente sin, sin saber nada también. Human rights is the foundational moral and legal discourse of our world. Something frightening is happening in Uganda. I foresee a lot of death. It is important to trace it back to where it is coming from. Homosexuality does not benefit the society. It's sin. Are you ready for Jesus? The controversial bill proposed death sentence for homosexuality. The American, when they preach hate here, they forget that they are preaching to people who will just take the law into their hands. We do believe that God wants the righteous to rule. What is relevant is to look at the condition that we're in and to say, is that where we want to be in another generation or worse? And I think the answer to that is no. Mm -hmm. And then we've got to take control of the situation. So the Film Fest is, is absolutely wonderful because it's getting that message out. It's like you have this impending sense of dooms that has come upon this country and you yeah. must solve this now. We have to live more simply. And I think that Sadna Forest is a sort of model for how this can be done. There are hundreds of covert operations on multiple continents with the full support of the White House. So there's the two men in the guest house were the first people killed. On his face! On his face! Who were these men that stormed into Dawood's home? And why would they go to such horrifying lengths to cover up their actions? I want to train some young leaders for the future of, of Afghanistan. The, the education is very important. I like it to work with women, to make some work for them. They're working and they make some money and they support their family. Mostly the teachers are not really professional teachers. Uh, we developed a program which helps teachers to deal with their own problems. 
We are tired with the war and we don't like war. Just we want peace for Afghanistan. Cuatro meses pasaron cosas que me trataron de sacar de la cartera. Uno, dos, abrieron las camionetas. Tres, este, de, entraron a robar ahí en la oficina de la asociación en Oaxaca. Cuatro, entraron al negocio de uno de los señores que nos apoya. Son sus mañas de, de los que se sentían dueños de las comunidades. De las comunidades no son de nadie. La gente no es de nadie. Se respira así como que chingón, ¿verdad?